Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how I like to work with an image that I upload to the design space that has more than one color. This could be useful with logos, with clip art that you like, with several different things you might want to upload and work with in the design space. I'm going to be using an upload from a college sports team or a college mascot that a friend asked me to help her with. So you will know if you upload an image with multiple colors into the design space, you might already know that it will either ask you to save it as a cut image and it will all be the same color, or it will ask you if you would like to save it as a print then cut image, in which case you would have to print out the image and then the Cricut would or your machine would cut the whole silhouette. But that's not helpful in this instance when I want some green paper, some blue paper, some white paper, some black paper. So the first thing I'm going to do is upload the image and actually just do the silhouette, just do the outline. So I'm going to keep everything and I'm going to save it. <clears throat> When I press continue, I'll save it as a print then cut image because I just want this as my as my guide for the other colors. So I'll go ahead and rename it just to keep myself organized to base logo and save. I'm going to put that into my canvas. So eventually I will delete this, but this is just going to be used as a guide so I can make sure my colors and my layers line up nicely. Now what I'm going to do is repeat the process with all of the colors I need. So I, in this case I need blue, black, white, and green for this logo. So I'm going to upload the image again, and this time I'm just going to worry about my black. So what I'll do is I will erase everything aside from the helmet itself. I'm not going to erase the blue and the green and the white because I want the black to be my bottom layer and then I will glue all the colors on top of the black. So as you can see I erased everything besides the helmet. I'll continue and I'm going to save this as a cut image. It's not really necessary to rename it, but I'm going to just to keep myself organized and save. And I will add that to the canvas. Okay, so that's already black, so I don't need to change the color. I'm just going to keep it black and go ahead and repeat the same process for the next color. Um, if you're following this and understand the next steps, you don't really have to watch the rest of the video. Basically, I'm going to do the same thing for the green, for the blue, and the white, and put it all together and just line it up with that base print then cut image. So here I will do the blue next. So I will erase all of the green and the white that's inside the green. <clears throat> but I'm not going to erase the white inside of the blue because just like the black, I want something that I can glue that white onto. If I erase the white, um, the machine would cut a hole in that spot, which I guess could work and you could just stick the white inside the hole. But for the purpose of this, I'm just going to leave it there and glue it on. This part's kind of a pain. You can see I sped things up a bit. Um, just depending on the image, you might have those annoying lines after you do the select and erase. So there, that looks good. And I will save it as a cut image and add it to my canvas. And now to keep things organized, I'm going to change it to the color blue right away. And so I can kind of start seeing how things will come together. I'm not going to worry about it lining up yet because I'll just do that um, at the end once I have all four of my pieces together. All right, now I am cutting out all the green. Save it as a print then cut, turn it green in the design space, and go ahead and do my white. So I'll upload it one last time here. 
cut out everything besides the white. And I'll speed it up again for you. Almost there. And save as a cut image and turn it white. Now I'm going to start lining things up. You'll notice I'm doing this voiceover after the fact, and you'll notice I messed up on my green one. So right now, um, part of the green is cut off, but I went back and fixed it, um, which you'll see at the end here. But now what I'm doing is just lining up, resizing the cut files over the print then cut, just so I know everything is proportionate. I can change the size later, the overall size of the image, but right now I just want everything to be lined up correctly like it is in the actual logo. So I did the helmet first. Now I'm going to do the blue because I can look at the swish below the helmet to line it up nicely. Then you'll see on the right side, I have to play with the layers and which ones are um, in the back, which ones are in the front, because I need to make sure that I can see the green and the white. So this is where I realized that my green was messed up. <laughs> Just cut off a little on the right there. <clears throat> but I'll line it up anyways and fix it in the end once I have the white lined up. Okay, so I'm lining up my green and now I'm going to line up my white and then I will delete that cut and then print image so I can make sure it looks nice just with my four layers. have to adjust the order of the layers to make sure I can see everything and other than that green that I messed up looks pretty good so I'll fix that green there I go and now I'm ready to cut it out so it will cut four different layers then I'll glue it all together and my project will be finished I hope that was helpful comment if you have any questions thanks for watching